There's two weeks to go. Charlotte may have no money and no clothes for her contest, but she does have 12 girls who she's gathered together for a training weekend. Right, so this is your room. And you can pick wherever you want. Carly, where are you going? I know. You go to the Alps? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, oh, I find you. a lovely little thing. <laughs> I'm excited today. I'm really, really excited. First time I've got the gears together in a full group of 12. Basically, I want to see how well they move and how well they project themselves as well, because I want to get some really good attitude out of them. You see, the thing is, for me, I'm going to have to get struck with the gears, and I'm not that good at being strict. It's either being really, really nice or being really like, what are you doing? I will work with them, but if someone isn't producing the goods, then they're going to have to go home. Now I'm not nervous, I'm more excited, but it's kind of a bit overwhelming at the moment because everyone's just like, Rrr. I think Charlotte's not giving anything away, so I'm um, really excited. I just really don't know what's, like, what's going to go on when we get downstairs. After her experience at the American pageant, Charlotte knows that the first lesson at Beauty Queen Boot Camp is mastering the catwalk strut. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. You have an hour and three quarters to learn how to walk. You're going to be judged in your confidence and your appeal, and that's your sex appeal. I want to see a woman out there that owns her body. Once you feel good and you're walking down that catwalk and there's people, your family are going, go on, and you know that you're there for a reason, you'll bring it. Do you want to win the competition, Michelle Healy? Oh, yes. Well, give it to me. Come on. Keep your arms down. Too fast, slow it down, you want them to see you. <coughs> Stop thinking about it. You're thinking about it when you're walking, what you're gonna do at the end. Some of them are a lot stiffer than I thought they would have been. Like, I'm shocked. They should be, be a bit more understated, but a lot more, they need more attitude or spirit or sparkle or something. You can't word it, it just looks stiff. The girls aren't getting any better. So Charlotte changes tack. You need a fist. You need to work, be able to work your fist like. You see? Show me your fist. No. Listen up. Mm. Should be natural. <laughs> I can't believe I can't walk, dance, or um, use my face today. So, um, so I'm really confidence built. Carly, give it to me. Um, no, it looks like you're going. Naughty doctor. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. Find it hard just doing it just now without feeling it. But you better practice tonight. I will do. Your fists. A certain smile, <laughs> a certain face. No, you're, you're Kay's cataloging it again. <laughs> Kay's catalog? <laughs> Never looked in one. Practice a pose, just practice a. <laughs> no! Yeah, I'm at half of them, and it's like Kay's catalog. I'm no Naomi Campbell, but. It's so hard though as well, sure, you got to think when the camera's in the face, you know. It might not be like that on the night, you know. Or 300 what people in front of the memo if they can't do it in front of us. It's the end of the day, and Charlotte's beauty queen training is proving too much for some of the girls. I am quite a confident person and quite loud and friendly and outgoing, but at the end of the day, 50% of it's a mask to kind of hide my insecurities about myself. I think I'm too self-conscious, really, for it. I've struggled, like, all day with my um, insecurities. When Charlotte was telling me to feel sexy and feel um, confident and love the catwalk, I found it really hard to do, because I just don't feel that way. Nobody's always confident, and a lot of it is going to be bravado. I mean, uh, if anybody says they're kind of confident all the time, yeah, you know, it's, it's all the time, it's a lie. And so don't feel that you're you're lacking because, you know, we're all making it up as we go along, you know. But I really want to be here, and I really want to do it. And I want to walk on that catwalk and feel proud that I'm there. And 
and feel gorgeous and be confident like everybody else. The next morning, Carly's on the verge of giving up. I just brought you in here for a chat, just to make sure you're okay and just to discuss what's wrong. Is there anything I can do to help? Um, in every, every, every other aspect of my life, I'm a very confident person. Sorry. It's just in um, this one area that I struggle. Oh, Sorry. I look at you and I just see a really tall, beautiful girl. Oh, I don't see that. What do you see? Just a, f a fat person that, you know, just isn't, you know, attractive. Who tells you this? I've been told it all my life. By who? I get told it all the time. No, but I, you're yeah. being still being bullied at 25? Yeah. By who? I, w I walked into the pub after my audition with you and a guy made a comment asking me about when my next wrestling match was. When I was younger, I was really badly bullied and I went through the exact same thing as you did. People used to say to me, oh, you've got such a beautiful face, Patty, you're it's too big. And I still really let it affect me. Carly, don't get me wrong, I still have days where I wake up and I'm like, look at the size of my arse. Mm -hmm. I wish I could lose an inch off my belly. But that's normal. Mm -hmm. Charlotte desperately needs to boost the girl's confidence. Later that day, she receives a delivery she's hoping will help. I've got a surprise for you. On the night, you're going to all have one of these. <laughs> Did you like it? It's going to be fitted for your own handmade corset. Everyone's going to have boobs. Thank you, Julia. It's going to be Charlotte's determination unexpectedly paid off. The corset company have agreed to dress all 12 girls and have come to the training weekend to fit them. Yep. <laughs> Keep pulling! Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, no way! Are you loving it? Yes, I'm loving it. Do you like it? Yes, I love it. You feel better now? I do feel much better, yeah. Good. I really do. Oh. That's much better. That's better. So sexy. I feel absolutely beautiful in this corset. It feels so feminine and so sexy. It feels lovely. I can't believe I've got a waist. I'm like a dirty old woman. I'm just going to <laughs> It accentuates the part that I think big women should accentuate, which is They've usually got lovely curves, so, you know, why put on a dress that's just, you know, like, <laughs> no shape? Mm -hmm. <laughs> With only two weeks to go before the contest, Charlotte needs the girls to get their act together. You better practice. Yes. Right? Want drastic improvement. Dramatic. Johnin. Right, ladies. I bid you adieu. And I need a dramatic improvement for next week. I'm going to be calling them during the week saying, you know what? Have you been walking down the high street doing the catwalk and your stilettos? I just need them to practice. Charlotte's been unable to find a sponsor to fund her contest, so she's come up with a new idea to sell tickets instead. I am about to now check the Ticket Web website because our tickets went on sale this morning. I want to see how many tickets we sold. Would you not die like if we sold all the tickets today? She needs to sell at least 300 in order to break even. Oh my God, we've sold 10 tickets? Oh my God! Do you hear that? I think that's brilliant for the first day. Isn't that good? Oh dear! I wonder who bought them. I wonder if it was probably my mommy. With 290 more tickets to sell, Charlotte's decided to take drastic action and is handing out leaflets to publicise the contest. It's ridiculous that I'm on the street trying to sell tickets, but you know what has to be done. 
Hi, excuse me. Oh, All right. Excuse me. How are you doing? I don't like projection, I can't do this. Nobody seems no. to want me out of the truck on the highway of love. Thank you. Show on Sunday. Is it sexy and hot? I? Is it hot like you? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long day, and that night one of the girls drops a bombshell. Hello? Right, well look, let me think about it and I'll call you back in the morning, okay? All right. Vicky Davis is seven months pregnant. I, oh no, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really, really, really don't know what I'm going to do. What if the other girls don't want her in the contest? What am I going to do? Charlotte calls an emergency meeting. She's concerned that the other girls might think Vicky's only big enough to qualify for the contest because she's pregnant. Not just this size, because I'm pregnant. I've always been big. Um, and I quite happily show people photos and everything of me before, if that's the case. Um, I'd still like to be in it. Right, one of the girls, Vicky Davis, yeah. she is seven months pregnant. Yeah. Because this isn't only my competition, this is your competition as well. You know, do you want her to go through to the final round? Yeah. Loads of people put weight on during their pregnancy, yeah. but that doesn't mean that they know what it's like to no. be big all their lives. She told me that she was 16 before she was pregnant. Not a big girl, it is all on the stomach, and it defeats the object of, of the show because we're all here as big, beautiful women, and she can join in any other show. This is specifically for us as big women. 12 of us started, so 12 of us should finish. I think, personally, I'm me. Really, yeah. Other yeah. people aside, that's what I think. After 20 minutes of debate, the girls come to a unanimous decision and Charlotte goes to break the news to Vicky. Right, well, they have come to the decision whether you should or should not be in the contest and they have all decided that you should be in the contest. OK, so that's good. They all still want you to be involved. It's the day of the contest, and backstage, preparations are frantic. What number are you, three? <laughs> right, Jody, get off the seat now. Up. We've done all this preparation and all this, and then suddenly, it's just suddenly here, and I, I want another day to prepare. I'm not ready. No, I'm running about 25 minutes um, over schedule, so just rushing these people along now to hurry up. People need to get their hair and makeup done, so. I'm nervous about cocking my walk up. Can I say cocking? Sorry. The doors open to the public in less than an hour, and the girl's hair and makeup is still not finished. I have to do a full dress rehearsal in 50 minutes before the doors open. Come on! Girls, get down here now. So, in theory, I should be over here in that person. Well, ish. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome everyone to the Beauty Reborn. Rah, 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 rah. Let's start the show. This is the first time Charlotte's seen the girls' dance routine since the training weekend. Keep your eyes this way. Keep your eyes this way so you can see the last gear. Let's have a little bit of 10 seconds. Down, Chantel. Down with the arms, Jody. The arms. One the arms. Please get it. You can do it. Don't panic! The girls don't know their dance routine, they don't know when to come on, they've practiced it a hundred times and they still don't know it. I'm going to throw up. Right, girls, look, we don't have enough time now to practice. Well, doors are opening now. I'll pick the girl, okay? So, I don't know what's going to happen. 